local play tips off for Tri County. The Titans coming off a fourth place finish at state last season. They take on Martinsville at the 1A Neoga Regional. Taylor Berry gets the Titans off to a hot start. The bucket for three sends them into an early lead. She had 19. Next possession off the steal. Bella Dudley goes to Berry again. The Titans pull ahead by three. Then off a fast break, Mila Eskew feeds it down low to Lily Cox. 80 to 37. Meanwhile, in Arthur, two seed Central AM opens up its postseason play against Okaw Valley. Timberwolves close in on the Knights' lead. Mia Harris with the layup, getting them within six. But from there, the Raiders climb to a near 20 point advantage as they take back the momentum. Laney Sands nails it behind the arc. Next possession, Michaela Denton with the steal and the bucket to close out the third. 54-36 Central A&M. The late game at ALH features the host Knights and Arcola. Riders start off by going to Kaylee Holbach inside. She gets the bucket for two. With the Knights down five, they find a little rhythm as Alexa Miller closes in on the Riders' lead. But Riders in that run as Ariana Warren sinks it for three. Knights still playing ball. Mackenzie Brown. Hits nothing but net for two, but ALAH wins it 49-46. to 46. All right, let's go to 2A. We wrap up with St. Joseph Ogden, where the two-seed Spartans match up with number seven Tuscola Warriors playing for the second straight night, and they're hanging tough thanks to Bryn Tabling. The sweet fake and finish ties it up at 23. She had 11. We had a game going to the fourth. Sophomore Ella Armstrong pulls SJL within one. She put up a game-high 15. Then Hannah Dukeman gives the Spartans the lead with five to play. Taylor Barnes hits the runner for the last field goal of the game. SJO advances 34 to 32.